In the heart of Paris, on the Petite Ile de la Cité, stands a testament to time, faith, and human ingenuity, the Notre Dame Cathedral. Today, delve into the rich tapestry of its history, from its humble beginnings to its present-day grandeur. Our journey begins in the 12th century, a time when Paris was blossoming as a center of art and learning. The Bishop of Paris, Maurice de Sully, envisioned a grand cathedral, a symbol of Paris's spiritual and cultural ascendancy. Thus, in the year 1163, the cornerstone of Notre Dame was laid, heralding the beginning of over a century of construction. As decades turned into centuries, Notre Dame began to take shape. The choir and the nave were the first to be completed, followed by the western façade and its iconic towers. By the mid-13th century, the cathedral stood in all its Gothic glory, complete with flying buttresses, ribbed vaults, and intricate stained glass windows. Yet history, as we know, is not a linear path. The Notre Dame Cathedral faced numerous trials and tribulations. During the French Revolution in the late 18th century, the cathedral was desecrated and fell into a state of disrepair. It was only in the mid-19th century inspired by Victor Hugo's novel, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, that a major restoration project was undertaken. Architect Eugene Viollet le Duc, the man at the helm, meticulously restored the cathedral to its former glory. The 20th century brought its own challenges, from the two world wars to the catastrophic fire in 2019. Yet, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, Notre Dame continues to endure, a symbol of resilience and hope. Today, Restoration efforts are underway to ensure that the cathedral stands tall for generations to come. Notre Dame is not just a structure of stone and glass. It is a resting place for many notable figures. Among them are Louis XV and Marie Antoinette, whose remains were reinterred in the crypt following the French Revolution. So, what threads have we woven through today's tapestry of history? We journeyed back to the 12th century to the birth of Notre Dame under Bishop Maurice de Sully's vision. We witnessed its construction, its rise to Gothic grandeur, and the trials it faced during the French Revolution. We saw how literature sparked a major restoration and how the cathedral endured the calamities of the 20th century. Finally, we paid homage to the notable figures who found their final resting place within its hallowed walls. The Notre Dame Cathedral, a symbol of faith, resilience, and architectural brilliance, stands as a testament to humanity's capacity to create, destroy, and restore. It is not just a cathedral, it is a chronicle of history etched in stone and glass, a story of Paris itself. 